Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgos. This is going to be your singles reading. So if you're new, welcome. Please smash that like button and do subscribe if you enjoy the reading. Keep in mind it is a general reading. Some messages may or may not resonate with you going forward. This is a channel for Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but all signs are welcome. All right, Virgo, let's get into your singles reading and see what the messages are here for you going into the month of April. 2023 messages for singles single virgos looking to meet someone we'll see who's coming towards you okay oh gosh virgo i'm sorry but you know i have to get a message all right for some of you if i could pick my card up okay for some of you this is a past life past a connection um someone from your past returning for others you can meet you could meet someone and connect with them and it feels like you've known each other before okay so let's we're just going to let that resonate several different ways because <laughs> i know i understand if, if you're just like listen if the past comes back you you can't tell you can't control what happens ex externally to you 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 can only control what you do virgo so if the past comes back and that's not something that you want you know um take it with a grain of salt it could be connecting with someone going forward where you feel like wow did we meet before okay so you've got honeymoon enjoying the bliss of holiday time together okay so uh, any holidays coming up for you virgo there might be a connecting with someone over the holidays um spring break i don't that's not really a holiday but whether it's a government holiday or just a religious holiday whatever it might be connecting with someone in that way okay past or new all right let me see and oh wow you've got engagement all right somebody's definitely coming in to propose or to offer you know a long-term kind of thing here <laughs> with you Virgo. let's take a look and see who this person is who's coming towards you see what tarot has to say about this okay virgo sun moon rising or venus who is this person coming towards virgo okay got another virgo taurus or capricorn um sun moon rising or venus this person showing up businessman or woman um very focused on the coin um this person shows up very solid practical a wise investor um someone who's resourceful domesticated in a lot of ways fertile <laughs> okay let me see what else can you oh my gosh okay all right a couple of messages here for some of you yes this is somebody new coming in love is coming into your life absolutely virgo if you are down in the dumps you haven't met anyone you don't know if you're going to meet anyone you definitely have this it's happening it's coming now for others of you this could be a past person who is returning and is like there's a whole new healing blessing um uh, uh like an like a new relationship or starting over a proposal of marriage or something along those lines like it's, it's it, okay yeah this person's showing up very single it's a strong virgo energy connecting with another virgo strong virgo energy um again somebody showing up here in a really good place financially they own a business they run a business they're ceo of something or you know whatever just good money single they dress well i'm picking up they may not be super stylish but their clothing is high quality threads so to speak <laughs> okay male or female energy let me see and then um for others of you i just want to say this could be your energy as well where it's just a lot of stability here and you've been patient so i just feel like i need to tell some of you you know don't get discouraged don't be discouraged don't quit before the miracle happens patience and an opportunity to create love and abundance with someone definitely okay so you've got the fool here so there's so much in the way of a new start a new beginning happening here during a holiday let's see and so we're looking at april so let's see 
Oh, okay, so Easter. That's one of the holidays. Um, I'm also hearing something to do with Queen of Queen Elizabeth. Birthday of Queen Elizabeth? <laughs> okay. Anyway, you can look on the calendar. <laughs> Maybe you have something going on um, in April. Some kind of vacation of some sort. Okay. Okay. You have the King of Swords also with the Seven of Wands in the reverse. So, King of Swords... Be Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra showing up here. Uh, I'm feeling strong Aquarius vibes here. And I'm also picking up... Uh, a lack of um, pushing back here. Okay, so you're either connecting with an earth sign or an air sign going forward. Okay, male or female energy. But tell me a little bit about this King of Swords. Oh, coming into balance, working things out. Two of Cups energy, preparing to come towards you. Okay, whether preparing in their life personally or um, I'm also feeling like opening up, asking you out, um, getting together, planning some... Um, plans have fall okay they're saying plans fell through before but now um, they're going to actually start going forward things are balancing out working out okay whatever sign they are don't get stuck too much on the signs I just have to call that out oh wow I feel like okay so there might be somebody okay There, so the energy, sh the energy showing up, Sagittarius and Scorpio energy as well. Okay, um, there's definitely something transitioning or changing. You could be meeting two different people as well, Virgo. You could have two different suitors or two different options. You could have somebody new showing up, and you could have a past person also showing up in April. So it looks like you're probably gonna have to. <laughs> I don't know. Choose. <laughs> All right. Well, Virgo, let's take a look at you. You've got the six of wands, so you're like king of the hill here on top of the top of the heap. You're you're in a victory position. Um, you're showing up here as desired, applauded, um, eye catching. I feel. <laughs> A winner, 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 chicken dinner, Virgo. So, yeah, it just—I I just feel like you're—you're you're getting recognition. You know, when it rains, it pours. When you have a dry spell, and then all of a sudden, boom! This is what I feel like the energy is. Uh, you, you're just—it—it it just look at all the people that are around this person here. It's like cheering you on, and it just feels like a winner, a winning situation for you, Virgo. You know, I, I don't know. I, I just kind of feel like if, like I said, if you've had some kind of a dry spell or you couldn't meet anyone and then it's like, as soon as it, the energy starts coming, it comes from all different directions, from the past, from the future, you know, um, from up above, from down below. Let me see. Okay. So you have the Eight of Swords. Virgo, it looks to me like in April, you're coming out of your comfort zone if you've been in a comfort zone or a feeling of being trapped and stuck and then all of a sudden even or even if you have not come out and you've been isolating it's like yeah i don't know you got some kind of aura or magnetic energy that you are attracting people to you uh, it's just all of a sudden it's like a surge it's a surge okay I don't even know how much more we need to clarify here, except for I'll do the physical features to see if I can try and give you a little more um, specification about who these people are. All right. So, yeah, look, opportunities are coming, Virgo. Absolutely. I mean, I don't know. I don't, I don't feel like you need to worry that you're not going to meet anyone because I feel like just as soon as you start feeling like, you don't have somebody out there or there isn't anybody out there for you 
um, everyone starts showing up and then you have the pick of the litter. Um, let me take a look here and see. I want to try and give you the physical features of the King of Swords and the physical features of the King of Pentacles. Okay, let me see. Why does my camera look so dark? Let me see. Physical features of the King of Pentacles. Male or female? Let Virgo know. Okay. All right. So, first card out. King of Pentacles has glasses or wears glasses. Okay, let's see. Now, they could be reading glasses or this King of Pentacles um, has just wears glasses all the time, either for reading. Um, they could be sunglasses. They could be glasses that turn into sunglasses as well. What else? Okay. King of Pentacles shows up with possible tattoos. Let me see. Okay. Could be plus sized. Blonde hair. And also short. Okay. That's how the King of Pentacles is showing up. So it's either one or just a few or all of them. Okay. Let's see this King of Swords. King of Swords. Show Virgo. Physical features. Oh. 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 Goodness gracious. Curly hair. Green eyes. Um, could also have short hair. Could also be straight. And we also have blue eyes. Okay. Let's take a look and see what Amira's Oracle message is going to be here for you, Virgo. All right, you've got travel. So for some of you, there's someone showing from out of town or while on a vacation. Again, the honeymoon card, that's number two. So there's definitely connecting with either, uh, you're connecting with someone at a distance or um, they're coming, either they're coming in or you're flying in. It's one or the other. It's definitely a distance or it could be driving or by train, but it's it, there's a distance to it. It's gonna take a little while to connect with each other. But um, if you're away or you're uh, doing something, a vacation or a holiday or just having fun, there's definitely going to be a connection with this person. They're going to show up around that time. Well, one or both of them. Okay, let's see what else. Okay, these two. Okay, we have a very mature woman. And, she, okay. Okay. <laughs> Um, there's some gossip floating around you, Virgo, or around this relationship, um, or this person, whether that's you or another person. Let me see here. Small talk. Okay. Somebody makes small talk. I'm not a big small talk, small talk, talk person. I like, um, good in-depth conversations with sustenance. So, um, I feel like there's someone showing up here. Um, now, this could be you, who's a mature woman, socialite, good connector, um, high society, likes to dress well, um, enjoys drama and things like that, whether that's on television or amongst other people, um, likes to make small talk with neighbors, or this is someone that you're going to be connecting with or going on a trip or going somewhere with in April. Okay, let's see what else. What else does Virgo need to know about the energy playing out here for April? Oh, okay. So you definitely have dating. Some of you dating a beauty queen or you are a beauty queen dating. And we've got karma. Okay. There's a new opportunity also happening here for you. And I, I, we already said that because we saw the Ace of Pentacles. So um, somebody's getting their karma for sure and uh, could either be coming back around to you um, or you're getting that good karma coming in towards you, Virgo. So I kind of feel like these messages are very simple as far as they're more predictive of who may be showing up for you um, going forward in April. So I feel like for you, it's gonna be more along the lines of like, man, when it rains, it pours, 
you're in a dry spell or you're just talking to a couple people and you're not sure maybe you're going to narrow it down to two <laughs> but you're definitely generating interest looking amazing um also we had whining and dining here romance dating travel holiday time um reconnecting with a past and connecting with a future okay so I don't know how that's going to go for you because at the end of the day, it's totally up to you what you want to do or how you want to handle something here. Um, it looks to me like the King of Swords is trying to have um, a new practical kind of opportunity with you where things are balanced out and um, there's an energy of like something wasn't able to happen but now it can and the king of pentacles is more interested in the love and the sensuality and the connection in that way so good luck virgo i'm going to end the reading there and i will see you guys back here tomorrow for your regular hour reading all right you guys so have a great night thanks everybody for being in the chat and to my mods you guys are awesome and i will see you all back here tomorrow take care